So Tim, what do you think of Robo One? Awesome. Uh, amazing time having here Robo One uh, in Tokyo. Uh, it's amazing to see the different kinds of robots that are fighting here. They come in all, come in all kinds of uh, appearances and costumes like chicken outfits and uh, uh, headless robots. Uh, so the variety is really, really cool. And the moves they do are amazing. It's really becoming a phenomenon here in Japan. Uh, the referees are people coming from overseas, from Korea, Australia and America. So um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to become a, a worldwide phenomenon. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it, it's, a, it's a really fun uh, event. And um, it's not only for kids, but it's for kids of all ages, adults too. And another interesting thing is that Japanese families are really into it. You see parents uh, coming here with their kids. They want to get their kids into it because I guess they think their kids learn um, engineering skills by building these robots and getting inspired. And the other cool thing is that it's taking place in a venue that is always hosts boxing events. So we have uh, machine uh, combatants here instead of human combatants. Yeah, so it's not just toys. It's not just toys, it's a sport, it's a culture, it's a lifestyle. Um, it's a whole new society uh, growing out of Robo One here in Tokyo. What about the level of uh, engineering? I'd say the level of engineering is extremely high. Um, I, it blows me away. Uh, not only the uh, mechanical and uh, and uh, you know uh, other abilities of these robots, but their appearance. I think if this tournament were taking place in the States, you'd see a lot of pretty cool robots, but they would be sort of very mechanical looking with all the electronics showing and, uh, and uh, the gears and whatnot. But here, you see a lot of very polished, uh, very slick looking robots with amazing costumes and uh, some of them don't look like robots at all. There's one fellow has a, a chicken robot, it just looks like a chicken in a Hawaii shirt, Hawaiian shirt. And so uh, that combination of the technology and the design is what makes these Japanese robots special. Is this something you want to uh, participate in yourself? Uh, I'd like to get into it, but since I can't get my own robot to even walk properly, <laughs> I've got a long way to go. So it's pretty high skill level then? It's a very high skill level, but I know that there are some uh, other events here in Japan that are geared toward um, robot uh, ingenues like myself. Yeah, so novices could get involved with a kid novices or something? Novices do it too, and uh, I'm going to try to do that, I think, one of these days, is uh, participate in one of these sort of uh, beginner level tournaments. Not not with the pros here, I get, I get demolished right away. <laughs> Great, thank you very much. My pleasure.